Yo, yo, what's poppin' Aries? It's Prado G, and I'm here with a general collective reading for your sign. I missed y'all. I hope y'all miss me too. Shout out to the first fire sign of the zodiac cycle. If your birthday is between March 21st and April 20th, if you, my lovely friend, are a Aries. So, or an Aries. <laughs> So yeah, sending all positive vibes out to you all is general and collective here. So take whatever resonates for you and leave behind what doesn't resonate with you for another Aries. Like I said, protecting this energy of this reading and everyone watching it with prosperity, peace and love, tranquility. Leave behind any negativity that you might have had experienced throughout today or even in the past. And let's live right now in this moment. Get a fresh message, clear message of spirit for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right, starting with the significant number, we got 12. Ooh, 12 re reduces to three. So that's about creativity, groups, collaboration, growth, and connection. So you could be um, needing to really keep your head on strong. I don't know, I just got third eye energy too because it's purple. And um, purple really represents like your crown chakra. But um, I just, for some reason, I just start third eye like third eye creativity maybe you could be tapping into your third eye and uh receiving some new levels of creativity or just a greater connection to the spiritual realm here but um we also got the number 11 which reduces to two so it is definitely some sort of partnership um your root chakra is showing up with this red so you guys could um be heavily rooting yourself into your reality or um just gaining stability and security within but you have options and there could be some choices that you are making um, right now that could be very um, vital in terms of like collaborating with other people in groups. So let's just see what shows up today for my lovely Aries. Positive vibes. Yes, I love y'all. Love, love, love. Let love be on the brain so we can wash out the dirt with the rain, okay? If you've been facing some pain, it's okay. Don't go cry, you ain't insane. Okay. All right, let's see what's showing up for my lovely Aries today. Let's see. Ooh, okay. First jumper we got. Ooh, gratitude. That's funny because I was just saying to myself before this reading that gratitude is the attitude and I was coaching myself into being grateful. So right now, um, there's a strong need for you to be grateful, my lovely Aries. Be thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents you. I know sometimes it's not that easy, um, but you got to discipline yourself um, to be more grateful. Check your attitude, Aries. I can accomplish whatever I set my mind to. So set your mind to it. If you want to be a more grateful, um, positive individual, then there is some discipline that is definitely required and you must set your mind to it. And whatever it is that you might find yourself doing right now, Aries, because you could just be being very grateful right now. I feel like you could be super grateful right now, but um, there's still some sort of discipline that's needed within your mentality of whatever it is you're trying to create and manifest right now. So Ooh, indecision. See, you could be having a hard time making a decision, my lovely Aries. Just listen to your intuition and in all aspects of your life. It will never guide you wrong. So anytime you find yourself in between making a decision with something, look at those colors lining up with that purple and that red and those two significant. Y'all see that? And the purple showed up too here with the gratitude card. So definitely your crown chakra. Like you are royalty. You are evolving spiritually. And it's time that you really start listening to your intuition more. Um, and how you are feeling as you making decisions or not making decisions, right? If you find yourself in this place of indecision, you do have to choose. Uh, always choose something um, from a gracious standpoint, though. Now, I see worry in reverse. So either you could be worried about something or just releasing your worries. I feel like you just release your worries right now. Be grateful for the experiences that you are going through and just make a decision to worry less. That could be also what you um, might be having a hard time disciplining yourself with. I know we are so used to worrying and that's just kind of like um, ingrained in our behaviors to worry. But just know that um, I, you are learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. So it's really pointless to worry when we sit back and think about it, <laughs> right? Because if... If you worrying isn't going to change it, what's the point of worrying? It's really no point. It's no point. It's like wasted energy. Honestly, when your energy could be going towards relief right now, feeling better, or just making a decision to just, oh, excuse me, to just not sit around um, and let things get worse. 
So, or, um, you know, you just sit around and miss opportunities in life. It's not even about things getting worse. But honestly, you know, just make a decision right now. If you're having a hard time making a decision, put yourself in a place of gratitude that you even have these options right now to choose between. Options are a beautiful thing. Don't let them overwhelm you. And don't um, focus on any lack of options. <laughs> you know, you got to focus on the good happening. So let's see what's showing up. If you want to attract it, though. If you want to attract the good, you got to focus on the good. So let's see what we got here. Okay, see the Ten of Cups. Being grateful for your family. Some sort of family connections. Your marriage. You could be getting married soon. Or you could have just recently got married. I do see the Five of Cups in reverse. I mean, not in reverse, the five of cups at the bottom of the deck. So I don't know. You could be having some a hard time with family. It could be some sort of disconnects in your family right now. And there's a need for you to just really be grateful for your loved ones and cherishing your connections with people. This is about um, a loving relationship with your children or spouse or just kids in your life or just family members in general. This is emotional contentment and people that you can trust. Be grateful for the people that you can trust. Raising your children wisely. Those are the type of values you want to instill in your children anyway. Not the crying over spilt milk. It's like something that you might need to get over right now. Something that you are focusing on negative. It could be a past emotional experience that you are still um, dealing with. Or a lack of self-love. Or um, realizing... Yeah, like self-love. Because honestly, you could be having a hard time forgiving somebody for a mistake that was made in the past or yourself be grateful for every decision that you've made up to this point my lovely Aries so can we get some very clear messages for my Aries let's see fire sign energy showing up with the ten of wands so we got the ten of cups and the ten of wands showing following each other wow so this is showing me that there th you could have been working too hard and now you are realizing that life is more to more than just working. This is about enjoying your life in this connection with your family members. I like how the 10 of cups and the 10 of wands meet. So it's kind of like putting out any fires um of being burnt out or rejuvenating yourself. Look at all these cups of water here. It's just like you could take from all of these replenishing relationships and fill yourself back up right now if you've been feeling burned out because the Ten of Wands is a card of burnout or working too hard at too many hours and you need some balance in your life and you could be causing some sort of stress-related issues or just feeling, like I said, uh, unhealthy or burnt out because you're taking on too much responsibility. And don't forget about the people that are around you. Call on your loved ones to help you to take some burdens off of your back and be grateful for them. Now, this is... <laughs> So, um, interesting. Shout out to, okay, this is the three of pentacles. Doing what you love. Collaborating with spirit to create something very divine, I see. Because you could be working solo. Um, working by yourself. I really feel a, a heavy energy of Aries doing solo work. But, um... As long as it's something that you love doing, you know what I'm saying? You're going to get recognized for the highest quality of work as long as that's what you're doing, putting in your best work forward. But sometimes we can't do that if we're too burnt out. What else is showing up for my Aries? Um, we got the Nine of Wands next. Okay, see? <sighs> this is all about protecting what you have created. Of course, you could be feeling defensive right now or there's a sort of resilient energy here. I don't know. I wanted to say Sagittarius energy. You could be in connection with a Sagittarius heavy because this is Sagittarius energy connecting. You could have a Sagittarius family member with their birthdays being between um, December 3rd and December 21st. I get that heavy, but um. You might be needing to protect something, protect your family, um, or just being prepared. Never give up and ask your angels for help right now. Ask your angels for help. Pray. This is the nine of wands. This is all about protection and not giving up right before something pops for you. Right before you're at the end of the finish line. You see the nine and the ten are right next to each other. That's kind of cool. Ooh, and then we got the three of wands too. Look at all this fire energy. This is you, Aries being fired up and standing for protecting what you have created this is planning for the long term some sort of long-term success 
in abundance. Just be patient as you decide what's next. This is the same woman here too. She's made it this far now. Look at how far you've made it though. That's a sign to let me know that you've made it so far in life by listening by listening to how you feel in your intuition. That's what's going to keep continuing to guide you. Keep yourself in a um vibration of gratitude and the universe has no choice but to look out for you. You're a vibrational match to grace. Graceful things must take place for you. Um, we got the five of wands. Look at all this fire energy. You just can't get away with it. With the queen of wands in reverse. Okay, so you might be having a hard time handling some sort of conflicts with other people or just internal conflict with yourself with the five of wands in reverse. This is about opposing opinions and other people's critiques. Other people... um. Other people having their own perspective or of what should be created with your life or with things that involve you. And that, that could be why that you're having a hard time making a decision because you're allowing other people and what they're doing to get in the way. You could be allowing that Leo energy. But um, it could be a Leo in your life, though. This is about very ambitious people. Somebody could be, people could be overly ambitious to the point where you're just not caring about other people. And what, you know, be careful with this energy. The five of wands is um all about how we, how the outside world is reflect, reflected by our inner world. This is like internal conflict being pushed outward into your physical world. You could need, be needing to release to release something or just adapt to these groups, these groups of people. Because I feel like you could be finding yourself in a position that you are upholding a, a, a corporation or empire that you built. You need to protect it and other people could be in the mix. But you don't want to get too ambitious to the point where you allow um, your opinions to blind you from what other people are saying to you. And just be, okay, look, this is the six of wands in reverse. I mean, not the six of wands, the six of swords in reverse. This is you just not moving forward and not allowing yourself to be relieved. You're not asking your family for help. This is a challenge in time that's being prolonged for you, possibly. Because um, you just won't travel or relocate or move along with something. You won't let something go. There's something that you're still holding on to mentally. And it could be keeping you in a dark space. It could also be an air sign um, that's in your family that you have some sort of smoke with. I don't know. Aquarius heavy. Heavy on the Aquarius energy. But... um. You might be needing to move on from this situation, this person, this thing. Listen to your intuition. I see here, look, that intuition showing up again. The high priestess knows what decision to make. So it's like you internally know. You know, Aries. The six of swords energy, though, is about moving forward, though, like and letting go, getting through the troubled waters. Like I said, it could be past emotions. Yeah, look at this. Aquarius energy. I don't know. This might not be for all Aries, but this is for a specific Aries in particular. You are dealing with an Aquarius that is um it's like it could be someone young. It could be a it could be uh a child of yours, a grandchild, someone who does just, just mentally immature, someone that you feel like you are more you are mentally more mature than. And it could be an older woman too, because I see here with this Ten of Wands, this Ten of Wands is an old woman in this, in this. But right here, this is all about logic and perception, about being pure too, because the pages remind me of like a more pure energy because they're so youthful, young. So this could also be your energy too, about being more perceptive and seeing things um, from a more... Um, I don't know, from a more brilliant standpoint, a more light, bright standpoint, a more pure, less cloudy, less heavy standpoint. Because as you can see in this picture, there's no clouds here. There's sun and light behind him and green grass. So the grass is green over here and you're solid, solid in your thoughts. Um, you're mentally solid and you're going through a, ma a, a major transformation. Look at all those butterflies around. Yeah, swirling transformation like... You're surrounded by transformation. 
Look, somebody could have blue shoes. Um, you might like blue shoes. You might like blue. The color blue is standing out a lot here too in this. But yeah, blue blood, ugh, butterflies in this. Just use your mental faculties wisely here. I'm going to say, look, because this nine of cups in reverse is about sadness and wishes unfulfilled. So there could be some sort of something that you need to look at deeper about what you believe is possible. What you believe is possible, like in terms of happiness, it could be in a relationship with someone. Like I said, Aquarius, you might feel like you don't have what it takes to fix or resolve this relationship or connection with them. Um, but you might be trying to work too hard and or you're falling back now and things are coming into balance with you and this person. Uh oh, look at this Knight of swords. Now this is all sword energy showing up. We have fire and swords. I mean, fire and air, wands and swords. You're creative and you're mental. And that fell underneath the nine of wands. So the knight of swords underneath the nine of wands gives me that you need to slow down because the knight of wands is really fast moving and they don't even know what direction they want to go in. But you need to focus in, lock in, get focused and make a decision. Because I also feel like the knight of wands is someone who has a hard time making a clear cut decision. And be less defensive. I mean, like, protect, protect. Now, by all means, protect what is yours. But don't be so, oh, I don't know. Like, this night of one, this night of source energy is just giving me um, brutal. You don't have to be. But um, this could be something that you might want to just be a little careful with. Like, how fast you are moving in this time. Be very mindful of your words and the way that you choose to direct them towards people and towards yourself internally, because, yeah. With this air sign energy, like I said, I feel like it could be an air sign in your life that you're dealing with. It could be parents, too. I feel like you have you could have air sign parents. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, if your parents are Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, this is a more mature energy, though. This Knight of Wands isn't as young, but they still don't... They're still not quite there yet. They're still goal oriented and so focused on reaching a certain status so you must you like i said i feel like if that's you you gotta protect what you have built but slow down a bit and be careful and review your options carefully review your options carefully because you have more options than you might perceive especially when you're moving too fast when you're moving way too fast areas you don't even realize how many options you have oh Ooh, and I love the ending here. Look at this, because this is what we're closing out on. And then with the Knight of Cups, following the the Nine of Earth. So I feel like you are very independent. You're making independent choices beyond what the other people are saying and what they're reflecting to you. Because I told you with this Five of Wands energy, it's about a um, struggle between... Um, like, I don't know, it could be like annoying people and their perspectives. Like, and that could be a struggle for you getting through other people's criticism or just other very ambitious people that are trying to do what they want to do around you. And um, you see what I'm saying? It's like, you're just independently making this choice to be happy and fruitful with this nine of pentacles energy. You're very mature here. Shout out to my elder um, Aries out there, my elder lady Aries. Shout out to y'all when it's y'all birthdays. Um, but this is all about hard work that has led you up to a luxurious life. Like you have put in the work to deserve this, to get this life to have this life, to be joyous, to be independent and content if you are, which you should be. In love, there could be a new love, a new romance sparking in your life. You feeling more flirtatious and sexy. Um, just falling in love with yourself, I see here. Choosing to fall in love with yourself um, and make mends with internal conflicts. Yeah, mm -hmm. you could also be choosing to be self-employed right now. I don't know, like you, especially because you're older, more mature with a solid, um head on your shoulders yeah it's definitely about being solid i feel you're in your own solitude like you're you're good alone you're happy you're happy alone and being independent and that's what you're truly seeking and that's what you're going to get as long as you are able to handle conflict well within yourself and within with others my lovely Aries, thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope I see y'all in the comment section. Peace, love, and prosperity.